Hello guys and welcome back to this channel, where today guys I'll be showing you how to manage inventory and track items in Smartsheet. So guys, the first thing that you of course need to do is go to Smartsheet.com and you'll be greeted by a website looking similar to this one. Now, when you did that, you just need to go and log into your profile. But guys, if you do not have one, you can always go and register to Smartsheet. But guys, if you do not know how to do that, you can always go to our YouTube channel where we have plenty of how to smart sheet videos where you can see how you can do this. Now, guys, that we got that out of the way, let's see what we actually have in front of us here. So, as you can see here, we have the smart sheet website where we can go and start from the home screen. So, here we have some things that are suggested for us. So, we can go and create a new smart sheet here. Uh, here we have our notifications, which I at the moment don't have any, but be sure when you have some, they will appear here. Here you have your uh, folders, so you can browse here from your work apps, sheets, workspace, and deleted items. Here, guys, you have the recently opened, and here you have your favorites. And guys, here you have, as you can see, just a second, it's loading. So you have your name. So be just uh, one thing, guys, the, all the information that we uh, I am entering here is basically fake because for the sake of this video. So here you can search for work apps, share with you recently updated. And here, guys, you can go and see some new templates that you can add. And lastly, here you have all the information about your account in one place. Now, guys, let's see how you can actually manage inventory and track items in Smartsheet. Well, first of all, you need to go and click on Create and then Create a new sheet. Uh, you need to set up the columns in the sheet to capture relevant data, such as item name, quantity, location, and expiration date. So you can do that on your Smartsheet and enter the inventory data into the corresponding cells in the sheet. And guys, that will be everything for this video. I hope that you found this video informative. If you did, guys, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on. And guys, as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.